What's up, Freckle family? Welcome back. I hope everyone had a great weekend. It's Monday, January 9th, and I'm your Daily Trivia host, Ian Finer, a.k.a. Lord Trivia himself. Freckle Daily Trivia consists of five everyday questions with weekly rotating topics. Each day you play earns you a raffle ticket towards amazing weekly prizes like NFT airdrops, toys, collectibles, merch, apparel, and more. This week, we're getting cosmic for cosmic trivia with the Cosmic Cats. The Cosmic Cats are a unique, colorful collection of 8888 energetic cats cruising through space on the Ethereum blockchain. Holders will get access to a weekly mission control event to win prizes such as whitelist, NFTs, ETH, IRL items, and a lot more. Check out this video from the Cosmic Cats. Prizes this week include two Cosmic Cats NFTs, three Cosmic vs. Planet NFTs, Cosmic Cats Stardust Token, Haritos Variety Soda Packs, Key Australia Sunglasses, Big Pins Diamond Select Collectibles, and more. Now, let's get the day into orbit with question one. What is the term for the study of the universe and its origins, structure, and evolution? Is it A, astronomy, B, cosmology, C, astrophysics, or D, space science. Cosmologists use a variety of tools and techniques, including observations of cosmic microwave background radiation, the expansion of galaxies, and the distribution of dark matter and dark energy, all to learn more about the universe and its history. Making our answer, B, cosmology. It is a fascinating and rapidly evolving field and continues to generate new insights and discoveries about the nature and behavior of our universe. Now, moving on to question two, what is the name of the hypothesis that proposes the universe is constantly being created and destroyed in an infinite cycle? Is it A, the big freeze theory, B, the big bounce theory, C, the big crunch theory, or D, the big rip theory? Well, according to this theory, the universe goes through periods of expansion and contraction. And at the end of each cycle, the universe experiences a bounce that triggers the next cycle of expansion and contraction. The idea of our answer, B, the big bounce, is based on the concept of cosmic inflation, which suggests that the universe expanded extremely rapidly in the moments following the Big Bang. Some scientists believe that this rapid expansion could have triggered a bounce that caused the universe to contract before expanding again. Now, on to question number three, this question sponsored by Haritos. Haritos is the official beverage of Freckle Trivia. Salute. Tell your mouth to try us, cause we taste super good. Super good, super good, super good. Super good, super good, super good. Super good, super good, super good. Cause we just taste super good. Haritos! Thanks, Haritos. Super good, super good, super good, as always. Now, on to question number three. What is the process by which a star converts hydrogen into helium? Is it A, radioactive decay? B, fission, C, fusion, or D, gravitational collapse? Well, this process releases a tremendous amount of energy and is the primary source of energy for stars like our sun. Our answer, C, fusion, occurs at the core of stars where an immense pressure and temperature create the conditions necessary for hydrogen atoms to fuse together. Now, on to question number four, what is the highest layer of our Earth's atmosphere? Is it A, the troposphere, B, the stratosphere, C, the mesosphere, or D, the thermosphere? Well, our answer, D, the thermosphere, is the highest layer of the Earth's atmosphere, extending from about 50 to 600 kilometers, or 30 to 370 miles, above the surface of the Earth. It is characterized by an extremely low density and high temperature, and is home to the auroras, or the northern lights and southern lights. 
The thermosphere is also where a majority of solar radiation is absorbed, making it an important part of protecting the Earth from harmful solar radiation. And now, on to the final question of the day. Who directed the movie The Martian? Is it A, Andy Weir, B, Matt Damon, C, Steven Spielberg, or D, Ridley Scott? Well, originally the director was not interested in making a film adaptation of the novel. Our answer, D. Ridley Scott had already directed a number of science fiction films and was initially not convinced that The Martian had a good enough action or visual spectacle to make for a great movie. However, after reading the script and meeting with the producers, Scott was eventually convinced that the film could be a compelling and emotionally resonant story and agreed to take on the project. Scott's involvement was a key factor in the film's success, and he brought his signature visual style and attention to detail, making The Martian a standout entry in the science fiction genre. And that concludes today's round of Cosmic Trivia. I've been your host, Ian Finer, and thank you so much for playing today, and thanks for our sponsors for the week, The Cosmic Cats. Make sure you jump in our Discord server, discord.gg slash freckle, to be included in our weekly prize raffles. We'll see you again tomorrow for another round of Cosmic Trivia, and thanks for playing. What's up, Freckle family? Welcome back. It's Tuesday, January 10th, and I'm your daily trivia host, Ian Finer, a.k.a. Lord Trivia himself. Freckle Daily Trivia consists of five everyday questions with weekly rotating topics. Each day you play earns you a raffle ticket towards amazing weekly prizes like NFT airdrops, toys, collectibles, merch, apparel, and more. This week, we're getting cosmic for Cosmic Trivia with the Cosmic Cats. The Cosmic Cats are a unique, colorful collection of 8,888 energetic cats cruising through space on the Ethereum blockchain. Holders will get access to weekly mission control events to win prizes such as whitelists, NFTs, ETH, IRL items, and more. Check out this video from the Cosmic Cats. Prizes this week include two Cosmic Cats NFTs, three Cosmic vs. Planet NFTs, the Cosmic Cats Stardust Token, Haritos Variety Soda Packs, Sunglasses from Key Australia, Fig Pins Diamond Select Collectibles, and more. Now, let's get the day started with question one. What is the smallest known galaxy in the universe? Is it A, the Andromeda Galaxy, B, the Triangulum Galaxy, C, the Milky Way Galaxy, or D, Sieg One? Well, being located about 38 million light years away from Earth and about a thousand light years across and containing about a thousand stars, despite its small size, our answer, D, Sieg 1, is thought to be the most dark matter dominated galaxies with as much as 99.9% .9 of its mass being made up of dark matter. This makes Sieg 1 an important object for studying the nature of dark matter and its role in the evolution of galaxies. Sieg 1 was discovered in 2006 by a team of astronomers using data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. Pretty cool. Now on to question number two. What is the force that is responsible for the behavior of subatomic particles and the interactions between them? Is it A, gravity? B, electromagnetism, C, strong nuclear force, or D, weak nuclear force? Well, our answer, B, electromagnetism, is one of the four fundamental forces of nature, along with gravity and strong nuclear force and the weak nuclear force. It is the force that gives rise to electric and magnetic fields and is responsible for the behavior of charged particles and the transmission of electromagnetic radiation, such as light and radio waves. Now, on to question number three, this question sponsored by Haritos. Super good and out of this world. Salute. Tell your mouth to try us, cause we taste super good. Super good, super good, super good. Oh. Super good, super good, super good. Oh. Cause we just taste super good. Arritos! 
Thanks, Javitos. Now on to the next question. What was the first spacecraft to land on Mars? Is it A, Viking 1, B, Mariner 4, C, Spirit, or D, Curiosity? Well, the mission, which took place in July of 1976, included a lander and an orbiter, both of which were designed to study the Martian surface and atmosphere. While curiosity may have killed the cat, our answer is A, the Viking 1 successfully touched down on the surface of Mars and conducted a number of experiments and observations, including taking photographs and analyzing the composition of the Martian soil. Do you think we will be colonizing Mars anytime soon? Let us know in our Discord. Now on to the next question. What organization searches for signals from extraterrestrial civilizations? Is it A, NASA, B, the SETI Institute, C, the European Space Agency, or D, the International Astronomical Union? Well, the program uses telescopes and other instruments to listen for signals from other civilizations in the universe. And it's been conducting searches for extraterrestrial intelligence for more than 30 years. Our answer is B. The SETI is a controversial field, as it is currently no direct evidence that intelligent life exists beyond Earth. However, many scientists believe that the universe is vast and full of diverse worlds, and that it is possible for some of these worlds to be home to intelligent life. The SETI program has been ongoing for decades and has involved the use of some of the world's most advanced technologies and telescopes. Despite significant efforts, the SETI has yet to detect any definitive evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence. What do you guys think? Aliens? Probably. Now for the final question of the day, in what Marvel Comics story arc does the multiverse theory play a major role? Is it A, the Secret Wars, B, the Infinity Gauntlet, C, the House of M, or D, Siege? In this story arc, the multiverse is threatened by the actions of the villainous character, Doctor Doom, and various characters from different realities must team up to try and save it. Our answer, Secret Wars, also introduced a number of new characters and concepts that would go on to become important parts of the Marvel Universe, including the cosmic entity known as the Beyonder and the villainous group known as the Masters of Evil. Secret Wars centers around a cosmic entity known as the Beyonder who gathers a group of superheroes and supervillains from Earth and transport them to a distant planet called Battle World. Sounds pretty epic. And that concludes today's round of Cosmic Trivia. I've been your host, Ian Finer, and thank you so much for playing, and thanks to our sponsors for the week, the Cosmic Cats. Make sure you jump on our Discord server, discord.gg slash freckle, to be included in our weekly prize raffles. And we'll see you again tomorrow for another round of Cosmic Trivia. Thanks for playing, everyone. What's up, Freckle family? Welcome back. It's Wednesday, January 11th, and I'm your daily trivia host, Ian Finer, a.k.a. Lord Trivia himself. Freckle Daily Trivia consists of five everyday questions with weekly rotating topics. Each day, you play earns you a raffle ticket towards amazing weekly prizes like NFT airdrops, toys, collectibles, merch, apparel, and more. This week, we're getting cosmic for Cosmic Trivia with the Cosmic Cats. The Cosmic Cats are a unique and colorful collection of 8,888 energetic cats cruising through space on the Ethereum blockchain. Holders will get access to weekly mission control events to win prizes like whitelists, NFTs, ETH, and IRL items, and much more. Check out this video from the Cosmic Cats. Prizes this week include two Cosmic Cats NFTs, three Cosmic Verse Planet NFTs, the Cosmic Cats Stardust Token, Haritos Variety Soda Packs, Key Australia Sunglasses, Fig Pins Diamond Select Collectibles, and more. Now, let's get the day started with question one. What features a spacecraft that mimics a police box? Is it A, Doctor Who, 
B, Quantum Leap, C, Sliders, or D, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Well, our answer, A, Doctor Who is a science fiction television series that explores the concept of time travel and the paradoxes that can arise from altering the past. The series follows the adventures of the titular character, the Doctor, who travels through space and time in a spaceship called TARDIS, accompanied by a series of companions. Doctor Who is known for its imaginative storytelling and clever use of time travel as a plot device, and it has become a beloved and enduring classic of the science fiction genre. Who's your favorite Doctor? Mine? The 11th Doctor. Now on to the next question. Why is Pluto no longer considered a planet? Is it A, it doesn't orbit the sun, B, it's too small, C, it's not spherical, or D, it's too far away? Well, Pluto was considered a planet from its discovery in 1930 until about 2006, when it was reclassified as a dwarf planet, making our answer B, Pluto was just too small to be considered a planet. The reclassification was made by the International Astronomical Union, or IAU, the organization that's responsible for naming celestial bodies and establishing their classifications. The IAU decided to reclassify Pluto as a dwarf planet because it did not meet all the criteria for a planet. Specifically, the IAU defined a planet as a celestial body that orbits the sun, is spherical, and has cleared its orbit of debris. Pluto is technically too small to have cleared its debris, and thus was reclassified as a dwarf planet. Now, on to question three. Question three, sponsored by Haritos. I'm drinking tamarind today, but what team are you on in the Discord? Salute. Tell your mouth to try us. Cause we taste super good. Super good, super good, super good. Oh. Super good, super good, super good. Oh. Cause we just taste super good. Haritos! Thanks, Haritos. Super good, as always. Now, on to question three. What film does a spacecraft travel through a wormhole in order to find a new home for humanity? Is it A, Star Trek? B, Interstellar? C, Gravity? Or D, The Martian? Well, the concept of a wormhole or a hypothetical passage through time and space that allows matter to travel from one point to another was first proposed by the physicist Albert Einstein and the mathematician Nathan Rosen in 1935. The idea of a wormhole was later popularized in science fiction literature and media and has been featured in numerous books, movies, and television shows. And our answer, B, the mind-bending film Interstellar, the wormhole serves as a key plot element and provides a means for the characters to travel to different parts of the universe and explore different dimensions. Despite being purely theoretical at this point, the idea of a wormhole has captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike, and has sparked ongoing debates and discussions about the nature of space and time. Now on to question number four, what is the only planet in the solar system that has no moons? Is it A, Mercury, B, Venus, C, Mars, or D, Earth? Well, all of the other planets, from Venus and Earth to the outer gas giants, have at least one moon orbiting them. But our answer, a, Mercury, is a small rocky planet that is located close to the sun, and it is thought that its lack of moons may be due to the fact that it did not have the mass or gravitational pull to capture and hold on to a moon during the formation of the solar system. And now, on to the final question of today, what is the scientific term for a shooting star? Is it A, a meteor, B, a comet, C, an asteroid, or D, a planetoid? Well, a shooting star is a small piece of rock or dust that enters the Earth's atmosphere and vaporizes due to the friction caused by the high speeds at which it travels. Our answer, A, meteors are typically only a few centimeters in size, but they can produce bright streaks of light as they burn up in the atmosphere, making them visible to observers on the ground. And that 
concludes today's round of Cosmic Trivia. I've been your host, Ian Finer, and thank you so much for playing today, and thanks to our sponsors for the week, the Cosmic Cats. Make sure you jump on our Discord server, discord.gg freckle, to be included in our weekly prize raffles. We'll see you tomorrow for another round of Cosmic Trivia, and thanks for playing. What's up, Freckle family? Welcome back. It's Thursday, January 12th, and I'm your daily trivia host, Ian Finer, a.k.a. Lord Trivia himself. Freckle Daily Trivia consists of five everyday questions with weekly rotating topics. Each day you play earns you a raffle ticket towards amazing weekly prizes, including NFT airdrops, toys, collectibles, merch, apparel, and more. This week, we're getting cosmic for Cosmic Trivia with the Cosmic Cats. The Cosmic Cats are a unique and colorful collection of 8,888 energetic cats cruising through space on the Ethereum blockchain. Holders will get access to weekly mission control events to win prizes such as whitelists, NFTs, ETH, IRL items, and more. Check out this video from the Cosmic Cats. Prizes this week include two Cosmic Cats NFTs, three Cosmic vs. Planet NFTs, Cosmic Cat Stardust Token, Haritos Variety Soda Packs, Sunglasses from Key Australia, Gotta Protect Those Eyes, Big Pins Diamond Select Collectibles, and more. Now, let's blast off into space with question one. Which planet in the solar system has the longest day? Is it A, Mercury, B, Venus, C, Earth, or D, Mars? Well, our answer, B, Venus has the longest day of any planet in our solar system. Venus rotates slowly on its axis, and a single day on Venus lasts about 243 Earth days. This means that it takes Venus longer to complete one rotation than any other planet in our solar system. Venus also has the slowest orbit of any planet, taking about 225 Earth days to orbit the Sun. As a result, a year on Venus is longer than a day on Venus, and the Venusian year is about two Venusian days days. Kind of wild. Now, on to the next question. What is the science fiction novel that explores the concept of a multiverse? Is it A, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, B, Dune, C, 1984, or D, War of the Worlds? Well, in the science fiction novel by Douglas Adams, our answer A, A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, explores the concept of a multiverse in which parallel universes coexist. The novel follows the adventures of our character, Arthur Dent, who is transported to a parallel universe after the Earth is destroyed to make way for a new bypass. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is known for its wit, humor, and satirical take on science fiction tropes, and has become a classic of the sci-fi genre. Now on to question three, sponsored by Haritos, this tamarind flavor, out of this world, man. Cheers. Tell your mouth to try us, cause we taste super good. Super good, super good, super good. Oh. Super good, super good, super good. Oh. Cause we just taste super good. Haritos! Thanks, Haritos. Now on to the question. What theory suggests that our universe is just one of many layers? Is it A, the landscape theory? B, the cosmic onion theory? C, the cyclical universe theory? Or D, the bubble universe theory? So this is a relatively new concept, first proposed by renowned physicist Mark, Max Tegmark in 2003. It is based on the idea that our universe is just one of many layers within a cosmic onion-like structure with an infinite number of universes stacked on top of it. Each of these universes would have its own physical laws and properties and could potentially be connected through hidden dimensions. 
the concept of our answer, B, the cosmic onion theory, adds yet another layer, pun intended, to the already mind-bending idea of the multiverse. What do you think? Are there multiple universes surrounding us? Is there an evil Lord Trivia doing evil trivia stuff right now? Let me know what you think in the Discord. Now, on to question number four. Which of the following moons is known to have water, ice, on its surface? Is it A, Enceladus, B, Phobos, C, Europa, or D, Titan? Scientists believe that the subsurface ocean of liquid water on our answer, C, Jupiter's moon Europa, may be a suitable habitat for life. Europa is thought to have a layer of water ice on its surface that is several kilometers thick and may also have a subsurface of ocean liquid water that is several kilometers deep. The ocean is thought to be separated from the surface by a thin layer of ice and may keep the liquid by heat generated in the gravitational interaction between Europa and Jupiter. The combination of water and heat on Europa may create conditions that are similar to those thought to have existed on Earth during the early stages of its development, when life first emerged. As a result, Europa is considered to be one of the most promising places to look for life beyond Earth and is subject of ongoing study and exploration by scientists. Now, final question of the day. What is the name of the spaceship featured in 2001, A Space Odyssey? Is it A, Discovery One, B, Enterprise, C, The Millennium Falcon, or D, Nostromo? Well, the spaceship featured in 2001, A Space Odyssey is called A, the Discovery One. Discovery One is a fictional spacecraft that is used to transport a team of scientists on a mission to Jupiter. The ship is equipped with advanced technology, including an artificial intelligence system called HAL, and is designed to operate autonomously for long periods of time. Discovery One is an important element in the film's narrative and is one of the most iconic spaceships in science fiction history. And that concludes today's round of Cosmic Trivia. I've been your host, Ian Finer, and thank you so much for playing, and thanks to our sponsors for the week, the Cosmic Cats. Make sure you jump on our Discord server, discord.gg freckle, to be included in our weekly prize raffles. We'll see you again tomorrow for another round of Cosmic Trivia, and thanks for playing. What's up, Freckle family? Welcome back. It's Friday, January 13th. Uh-oh, Friday the 13th. I wish you all the best of luck on trivia. I'm your daily trivia host, Ian Finer, AKA Lord Trivia himself. Freckle Daily Trivia consists of five everyday questions with weekly rotating topics. Each day you play earns you a raffle ticket towards amazing weekly prizes like NFT airdrops, toys, collectibles, merch, apparel, and more. This week, we're getting cosmic for cosmic trivia with the Cosmic Cats. Cosmic Cats are a unique and colorful collection of 8,888 energetic cats cruising through space on the Ethereum blockchain. Holders will get access to weekly mission control events to win prizes like whitelists, NFTs, ETH, IRL items, and much more. Prizes this week include two Cosmic Cats NFTs, three Cosmic vs. Planet NFTs, the Cosmic Cat Stardust Token, Hanitos Variety Soda Packs, Key Australia Sunglasses, Big Pins Diamond Select Collectibles, and a lot more. Now, let's get into orbit one last time for the week with question one. What studies the physical properties and behavior of objects in the universe? Is it A, astrophysics, B, quantum physics, C, biochemistry, or D, geology? Well, the scientific discipline that studies the physical properties and their behavior of objects in the universe is A, astrophysics, such as planets, stars, galaxies, and black holes. 
astrophysicists use a variety of tools and techniques, including telescopes, satellites, and computer simulations to study the behavior of these objects and to understand the fundamental laws that govern the universe. Now on to question number two, which are the most common types of galaxies in the universe? Is it A, spiral galaxies? B, elliptical galaxies, C, irregular galaxies, or D, lenticular galaxies? Well, these cosmic wonders are characterized by their oval shape and lack of spiral arms, making them a truly unique sight to behold. In fact, our answer, B, elliptical galaxies, are some of the most common types of galaxies in the universe, with scientists estimating that they make up roughly 60% of all known galaxies. So the next time you look up at the night sky, keep an eye out for these fascinating celestial objects. You never know what you might see. Now, this next question, sponsored by our friends at Haritos. Haritos is the official beverage of Freckle Trivia with super good flavors that are certainly out of this world. Salute. Tell your mouth to try us, cause we taste super good. Super good, super good, super good. Oh. Super good, super good, super good. Oh. Cause we just taste super good. Haritos! Thanks, Haritos. Now on to the next question. Which constellation holds the hottest place in the universe? Is it A, Orion, B, Scorpius, C, Cygnus, or D, Virgo? Well, the hottest place in the universe is located in the constellation B, Virgo. The place in question is a region known as quasars, which are extremely bright and distant objects that are thought to be powered by supermassive black holes. Quasars can be found throughout the universe, but the hottest known quasar is located in Virgo and has a temperature of more than 10 billion degrees Kelvin. This is more than 100,000 times hotter than the center of the sun, and it's hot enough to vaporize any known substance. Quasars are some of the most powerful and energetic objects in the universe and are the source of ongoing scientific study and fascination. Now, on to question four. The wearable universe theory states that the universe is this. A, cyclical, B, infinite, C, a simulation, or D, shaped like a torus. Well, the wearable universe theory is a theory that proposes that the universe is C, a simulation or a virtual reality created by a more advanced civilization. This theory is based on the idea that the universe exhibits certain characteristics that are consistent with the behavior of a simulated environment, such as the apparent discreteness of certain physical quantities and the observed lack of certain types of events or phenomena. While the wearable universe theory is still a matter of debate and speculation, it has gained some popularity in recent years and has been the subject of a number of scientific and philosophical discussions. Even Elon Musk tweeted about this theory, and with the world of Web3 moving into the metaverse, maybe it is possible that we do in fact live in a simulation. Let us know what you think in the Discord. Now, on to the final question of the week. What is the theory of relativity? Is it A, that the universe is expanding? B, that the universe is contracting? C, the universe is stationary? Or D, the laws of physics are the same everywhere? Well, the theory of relativity is a theory proposed by Albert Einstein that suggests D, the laws of physics are the same in all inertial frames of reference or the reference frames that are moving at constant velocity with respect to one another. The theory has two parts. The special theory of relativity, which deals with the relationships between space and time in the absence of gravity, and the general theory of relativity, which deals with the relationships between space and time and gravity. The theory of re relativity has had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe and has been verified by numerous experiments and observations. And that concludes this week of Cosmic Trivia. I've been your host, Ian Finer, and thank you so much for playing, and thank you to our sponsors for the week, the Cosmic Cats. I hope you learned something this week, and make sure you jump on our Discord server, discord.gg slash freckle, to be included in our weekly prize raffles. We'll see you again next week for a special round of history trivia with the Devilish Tunes. Thanks for playing. <laughs>